Hello. Today we are going to show you how to prepare the next generation sequencing library using Engine Bio's Hype Capture panel. The library preparation is mainly divided into four steps, including sample preparation, library preparation, hybridization and capture of targets, and final enrichment of the library. It will be demonstrated step by step. Prepare fragmented genomic DNA around 200 base pairs in size using either an ultrasonicator such as Covaris or Fragmentase enzyme. Before the next step, please check all laboratory equipment and reagents, which are not included in the kit. Next, prepare library preparation. After the fragmentation step, the fragmented DNA ends are blunted and phosphorylated and then A is added to each fragment before adapter ligation. Prepare a master mix in a new tube, adding the calculated volume of ER enzyme mix and ER buffer depending on the sample number. Mix well by vortexing and spin down briefly. Alicut the ER master mix into a PCR tube containing 50 microliter of fragmented DNA. Close the lid tightly. And then, mix well by vortexing and spin down briefly. Place the PCR tubes in a thermal cycler and start the reaction. In this step, a single T overhanged adapter specific for the Illumina NGS platform ligates to the end repaired fragments as T and A pairing. Then add UDG enzyme to release uracil out from the hairpin structure which becomes a Y shape for the next step. In the same manner as the previous step, make a master mix for multiple samples into a new tube adding calculated volume of AL enzyme mix, AL enhancer, and adapter. Aliquot the AL master mix into a PCR sample tube containing each end repair reactant. Close the lid tightly. Place the PCR tubes in a thermal cycler and incubate for 15 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius. After the 15 minute incubation, add three microliters of UDG enzyme to each ligation mixture. Close the lid tightly. Incubate for 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in a thermocycler. To select the desired target size from the DNA fragments, there are two rounds of the selection step. The first round is to remove the DNA fragments larger than the desired size. And the second step is to remove the DNA fragments smaller than the desired size. For this step, magnetic beads such as Ampure XP beads are required. The beads should be kept at room temperature at least 30 minutes before use. Add 60 microliters of the beads to each ligated reactant. Incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand to separate the beads from the supernatant. Wait until the solution becomes clear, approximately for five minutes. Carefully transfer the supernatant into a new tube. Do not discard the supernatant. Add 40 microliters of the beads to each collected supernatant. Incubate for five minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand to separate the beads from the supernatant. Wait until the solution becomes clear, approximately for five minutes. Carefully remove the supernatant. Be careful, do not disturb the beads that contain the desired DNA. 
Wash the beads by adding 200 microliters of freshly prepared 80% ethanol. Wait for one minute at room temperature and then carefully remove the supernatant. Repeat ethanol washing step. Be sure to remove all residual ethanol after the second wash. Dry the beads at room temperature approximately up to five minutes. As the overdried beads may result in lower DNA recovery, please make sure to dry beads appropriately. Place the tubes off from the magnetic stand and add 17 microliters of low TE to each dried sample. Incubate for three minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand and wait until the solution becomes clear. Transfer 15 microliters of each clear supernatant that contains the desired DNA into a new PCR tube. Prepare the blue cap tubes marked as four and each index primer depending on the sample number. Make a master mix into a new tube adding calculated volume of index PCR master mix and universal primer. Aliquot 30 microliters of the PCR master mix into each tube containing purified DNA and add five microliters of each index primer per each sample. Place PCR tubes in a thermal cycler and run the PCR. During the PCR reaction, the adapter-ligated DNA template is amplified along with each index. Index primers plays a role as a unique barcode identifying each sample on multiplexed sequencing. Prepare Ampure XP beads and leave at room temperature at least 30 minutes before use. Add 45 microliters of the beads. Incubate for five minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand to separate the beads from the supernatant. Wait until the solution becomes clear, approximately five minutes. Carefully remove the supernatant. Wash the beads with 200 microliters of freshly prepared 80% ethanol, and then wait for at least one minute at room temperature. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Repeat ethanol washing step. Make sure to remove all residual ethanol after the second wash. Dry the beads at room temperature for approximately three to five minutes. Be careful not to over dry the beads. Place the tubes off from the magnetic stand and add 33 microliters of low TE to each sample. Incubate for three minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand and wait for up to five minutes until the solution becomes clear. Transfer 30 microliters of the clear supernatant into a new PCR tube. Measure the concentration of the purified library using fluorometer such as qubit and the average length of it on tape station or similar system. After quality check, pool each library at an equal amount. The total mass of the pooled library should be in a range between 500 to 1000 nanograms. The Y-shaped libraries may have randomly repeated sequence. To prevent nonspecific hybridization of target probes, blocking oligos binding to repeated sequences are added. Add blocker DNA and blockers mix to a 1.5 microliter low bind tube containing the pooled library. Dehydrate the mixture using a vacuum concentrator. In this step, after rehydrating the reactants from the previous step, the library is denatured to allow specific probes binding to the target region. 
Thaw all reagents and buffers at room temperature. Add appropriate volume of 2x high buffer, white cap tube, and HYBE buffer enhancer, brown tube, to the dehydrated library from step 6. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. Again, mix well by pipetting ups and downs several times, and then transfer to a new PCR tube. Incubate for 10 minutes at 95 degrees Celsius in a thermal cycler. After 10 minute incubation, add four to five microliters of target probes from the purple cap tube to the sample. Then, incubate the sample for four to 16 hours at 65 degrees Celsius in a thermal cycler. For a single capture reaction, dilute the following wash buffers to prepare one X working solution accordingly. Incubate 100 microliters of 1X wash buffer 1 and 400 microliters of 1X stringent wash buffer at 65 degrees Celsius at least for two hours before use. Store the rest of the buffers at room temperature. Prepare Dyna Beads M270 Streptovidin Beads and DNA Low Bind 1.5 Microliter Tube for this step. Take 100 microliters of the beads per capture reaction into a low bind tube. After mixing well, place the tube in a magnetic stand, allowing beads to fully separate from the supernatant. Remove the supernatant. Perform the following beads washing. Transfer 100 microliters of the washed beads into a new PCR tube. Place the tube in a magnetic stand, allowing beads to fully separate from the supernatant. Remove the clear supernatant. Proceed immediately to the next step. Transfer all the hybridized target library incubated in thermal cycler to the capture beads after washing. Incubate the tube for 45 minutes at 65 degrees Celsius in a thermal cycler to allow the target DNA libraries to bind to the capture beads. Every 12 minutes, vortex the tube for 3 seconds to keep homogeneous reaction during the incubation. During this step, the biotinylated target probes can bind to the streptovidin beads for capturing only the target probe and hybridized DNA libraries. The captured target libraries are separated using a magnet. The beads washing step performed at 65 degrees Celsius, followed by at room temperature. Add 100 microliters of preheated 1x wash buffer 1 to the PCR tube from step 10. Transfer all the beads mixture to a new low bind tube. Place the tube in a magnetic stand. Once the supernatant becomes clear, remove and discard the supernatant, which contains unbound DNA. Add 200 microliters of preheated 1x stringent wash buffer. Incubate the tube for 5 minutes at 65 degrees Celsius on a heating block or water bath. Place the tube in a magnetic stand. Once the supernatant becomes clear, remove and discard the supernatant. And repeat washing with 1x stringent wash buffer. Perform next washing step using three different wash buffers at room temperature. Please follow the description for the room temperature washing. Remove and discard the last wash buffer. Place the tube off from the magnetic stand. Resuspend the beads with 20 microliters of nuclease free water. Ensure no beads stuck to the tube wall. Now it is ready for the next step. Add 
that appropriate amount of 2x final PCR mix, P5 and P7 primers, to a new PCR tube. Add the beads with captured DNA libraries from step 11 as a template for the PCR reaction. Place the PCR tube in a thermal cycler and run the following program. During the PCR reaction, the capture target library will be amplified using P5 and P7 primer pairs for Illumina platform. For the final purification of the PCR products, add 75 microliters of Ampure XP beads. Mix well and incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand to separate the beads from the supernatant. Wait for approximately 5 minutes. Carefully remove the supernatant. Be careful not to disturb the beads. Wash the beads with 200 microliters of freshly prepared 80% ethanol. Wait for one minute at room temperature and then carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Repeat ethanol washing step once more. Make sure to remove all residual ethanol after the second wash. Dry the beads at room temperature for approximately three to five minutes. Be careful not to over dry the beads. Add 22 microliters of low TE to the beads. Incubate for three minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on a magnetic stand. Once the solution become clear, transfer 20 microliters of the clear supernatant to a tube. Measure the concentration of the purified final library using a fluorometer and the average length using tape station or similar system. Then dilute the final library to 4 nanomole for NGS sequencing on the Illumina platform. For full details, please refer to the user manual of Engine BIOS hybridization capture panels such as Heme AccuTest DNA or Solid AccuTest DNA. In case you have additional inquiries, Please contact us by email and phone for the technical support. Thank you.